The Wachau is the most beautiful section of Austria's Danube Valley, and Dunstein is a fascinating small town with a long history. Arrival by boat is particularly scenic. A jetty leads to a sea wall, from where a gate and steps provide access to the old town. Since time immemorial, the appeal of the Danube Valley has been in its particularly mild climate and cultivation of fruit and vines on the terraces of its steep banks. Dunstein is a splendid place, once well protected by a castle and defensive walls. Its 16th and 17th century buildings and narrow streets were decorated with Bacchanalian Baroque in the 18th century by art-minded religious leaders. During the holiday season, tourists come here from across the world, arriving in all manner of cruise ships. A magnificent portal leads to the courtyard of an Augustinian canon monastery that dates back to 1410 and that was renovated in 1980. From here, the view opens up onto a striking blue and white church tower that is often referred to as the sign of God. A second portal leads from the courtyard to a church that was redesigned by Provost Hieronymus Udelbacher. He was like a Baroque prince and had great artists working for him. Master builders such as Josef Mugenast, Jakob Brantauer and Matthias Steinl created this sacred splendor for Provost Hieronymus. The interior of the church is decorated with lush Baroque and the high altar and choir stalls are remarkable works of art. The tabernacle is of a world globe, shining with the golden light above the altar and sacred images, paintings plus a splendid pipe organ. From the collegiate church, a passage leads directly to a terrace on Danube Rock. Angelic white figures adorn the frame of a stone balcony that provides a breathtaking view of the church tower and gentle flowing river. Adjoining the church is a Baroque cloister with large and expressive figures by Johann Schmidt and rich fresco decoration. A narrow staircase leads down into a crypt chapel that contains allegorical frescoes by Miesbach and Pichler. A Baroque depiction of death and images of the provosts guard its entrance. In the crypt, there's also a Calvarian altar with three crosses. And wall and ceiling frescoes decorated with illustrations of the apocalypse, as well as mortality a morbid image popular in Baroque times. In the monastery courtyard, daylight returns. As can be seen from its finely restored buildings, 
Durenstein has been a popular settlement area since the Middle Ages. Many of its boarding houses and restaurants have been named after numerous famous figures of the past. Although the Danube is now tranquil, it can cause flooding. Where today the dominant church tower attracts visitors, at one time this fortified town reached up to the castle. In the middle of the 11th century, the Kuenringer became the lords of Durnstein, fortified the settlement, built a toll station, as well as the castle. Since the clergy was not entitled to administrate worldly sovereign rights, such as tolls and various laws, the Kuenringers took charge. They established their power in the Wachau and became ministeriali or caretakers of the Margrave. Situated above Dunstein, these are the ruins of Kuinringer Castle. Duke Friedrich II, the last Babenberger, limited the power of his knights. The Kuenringers went into decline, their power faded away, and their castles were destroyed. The monasteries and churches that they founded remained intact. In 1594, the family died out completely. The legend of the adventures of English Prince Richard the Lionheart and his faithful servant, the minstrel Blondel, has survived to the present day. Richard was imprisoned here and released only after payment of 35,000 kilos of silver. During the Crusades, he had offended the Babenbergers. He returned via Austria. The name Dunstein originates from the rocky terrain on which the settlement developed, known as the Droughty Stone. Since ancient times, viniculture has been practiced here, and the region's wine growers continue to reside in their centuries-old dwellings. A late Gothic townhouse was established here as a town hall from 1547 onwards, and remodeled in the Renaissance style of 1563. Right up until today, the location of the Augustina Monastery acts as a main landmark of the town. Dunstein has always been influenced by the Danube, and its history continues to be reflected within its waters.